this new season. Now, we'll show you a little bit of uh, vision that we uh, captured earlier today. We're taking a look at uh, Marcus Ambrose in the Team Penske Dick Johnson Racing entry right now. And the vision we captured was just prior, in fact, to session two. And I don't want to hark back to Balaclava Gate 2005, I think it was, where Marcus got a, <laughs> a penalty at Bathurst. <laughs> but hey, yeah, I better put that on. Everybody just before he set off. He's watching Marcus. <laughs> so, got to get back in the groove. It's the last thing you want to be putting on at this racetrack this weekend because, man, it's warm down there. And it's warmer in the precinct because of the nature of it, because of the grandstands. And there's the captain. There's Roger Penske. He's made the trip to Australia with his racing president, Tim Sindrick. Spotted Tim just moments ago before the session kicked off and he said that they feel like they've made some progress with brake modulation. That was the thing Marcus tended to struggle with at the Sydney 500. They've made some, some gains in that area and they've been looking particularly at the braking markers for, say, Chas Mostert or Mark Winterbottom. He feels like he's there or thereabouts now, but he's still got lots to, to reprogram in the brain about V8 supercar after being away for a decade in NASCAR. Roger Penske, what a story in international motorsport. IndyCar, a brief stint in Formula One, NASCAR, sports car, 27 national championships, 15 Indy 500 victories, 13 Indy car titles, and a great story for Will Power most recently. And last weekend, claiming a Daytona 500, and this has been one of the big off-season stories, talk about this team and the regeneration of it. Dick Johnson in partnership with Team Penske. New colours on the car for this weekend, continuing that relationship between Shell and DJR that's been in existence for a long period of time. I introduced myself to Tim and I said uh, I'm a, a friend, a former colleague of mine is Lee Diffie, former V8 Supercars commentator who's doing a great job uh, working in America these days on IndyCar and, and Formula One. And his response was, I'm very sorry to hear that you're a friend of his. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I thought you were trying to impress him, actually, Rusty. Shane Van Gisberg in car number 97's on screen. All these kilometres are going to be valuable here for Marcus as well because one of the other things he's going to be able to do on occasion, like right here at the moment, is have a bit of a look from behind at what's going on with those around him that he knows have got firepower. So he knows, for example, that Van Gisbergen's a good operator around here. He's watched all the videotapes inside out, upside down in the last couple of years. He knows that Shane is good. He knows that that little team punches well and truly above its weight. So from that observation position that he's got at the moment, he's got the best seat in the house to understand, OK, we've got a little weakness here. Car isn't maybe turning in as well as we'd like, or it doesn't ride the bumps quite as well, or it doesn't come off the corner like it should, or I need to raise my game. And we're only talking about tiny increments here. We're not talking about trying to find some miracle magic bullet cure, but the little things add up to a lap time. And so this is going to be very important for Marcus. Hey guys, I'm uh, in the DJR Pinsky garage right now talking to Mr. Roger Pinsky. We're just watching Marcus Ambrose out there on track going round and round. Welcome to Adelaide. Welcome to the Clipsal 500. It's fantastic to have you here. Well, I'm really excited. This is my first V8 supercar race, so I've got a lot to learn and it's exciting to see so many people in the, the pits, the way the cars are turned out. Uh, very exciting and it's an honour for me to be here. Well, we, we're obviously suitably excited to have you as part of this championship. The Penske story is just incredible. Your success in, in America and racing around the world is phenomenal. And, and seeing this uh, this combination here forming with uh, DJR and Team Penske is phenomenal. And Marcus Samber as well. I mean, what a great guy to have on board for your first season here. Well, I think we got to know Marcus real well when he was over in the States. He's a first-class guy. He's a champion and someone that we said we came here, we can build on something, and certainly it takes a driver and a team. And Dick Johnson, you know, world-class individual, an icon in the sport, and guess what? We get a chance to team with him, and we're going to have a long road here, but we're going to have fun. Well, it's a great partnership. Congratulations also. What an amazing start for the season of NASCAR with Joey Logano taking out your second Daytona 500. Well, that was uh, special to come down here and say, the Daytona 500 in my pocket was uh, it was a good good calling card I hope but uh, overall uh, he drove a great race he and Brad we've got a great team we had strength last year but I, we're going from strength to strength I hope in 2015 all over the world too I think thank you very much for your time sir good to see you okay, thank you very much thank you thank you racing and winning since 1958 Roger Penske the captain happy birthday for last Friday Mr. Yeah. Penske and the 
list of drivers that have driven for him over a long period of time is a real genuine roll call of genuine international superstars. But they just pulled that whole operation a few years ago from what was once uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, where they ran their IndyCar operations and pulled it all into Mooresville, North Carolina. It's 105 acres, Rusty, or 42 hectares of the most extraordinary international motor racing facility where their NASCAR, sometimes their sports car and their IndyCar operations all hub. And just a snapshot, a tiny snapshot of their business operations. The Penske Automotive Group is the world's second largest auto group. We've got 327 franchises, 42 brands, 25,000 cars in stock, and 21,000 employees. That's just in one corner of his business. The Penske truck leasing operation has got 200,000 trucks worldwide. So to have a man of that calibre in this paddock is, as Greg Murphy just said a few moments ago, very exciting for us.